What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jen. I post videos two to three times a week about discovering new places, entertainment, travel, lifestyle, and tutorials as well. So for today's tutorial, I'm making a napkin holder and I've, I keep seeing this trending uh, style on Pinterest, on Instagram, and even on Amazon, I've seen this and it was kind of expensive. I saw the napkin holder uh, for a set of eight, I think, or for a set of six, it was like $15.99 and I was like, no way I can make this. So, so here I am guys making this so I can show you guys how to make it. So first of all guys, I went ahead and bought myself some wooden beads online and um, I will also link that uh, video in just in case you guys are uh, the same type of product they were they came in a package of 900 pieces of wooden beads and it came with this rope that I'm using right now so um, so that's what we're doing right now right now um, I'm just putting a tape on it like a paper tape or you could use any kind of tape I just needed to put some tape on the on the tip of the bead or on the tip of the rope so that it would be easier for you to thread it in and also that it will avoid fraying the rope so that you won't have a hard time you could just keep on continuing to thread it thread the beads in. So for some of the beads, some of the beads are, their their holes are a little bit small or not as uh, wide as the other ones. So what you can do is, like I did right there, is to cut the tip of the rope where the mat, where the paper tape is on and cut it in an angle so it would help you. And after I did this, I was just threading the beads you know in so much better than I did in the beginning so I guess that is one of my tips for you guys to cut it uh, on an angle so it it would be so much easier for you guys and for this project I'm putting 12 beads inside in the rope so we can make our napkin rings and after we have 12 pieces of the wooden beads we're gonna go ahead and tie it up and I'll show you guys that in a bit. I suggest leaving around maybe two to three inches uh, of the rope so you guys can easily tie it. So right here I'm just trying to tie a simple knot together. So after tying the knot, I suggest pushing the knot all the way up so that your beads won't be loose. After that guys, we're going to need some uh, paper or cardboard. Uh, we just need to use the cardboard or the paper just to wrap around the rope because we're going to make a tassel. So I suggest making the rope, you can make the rope as uh, long or as short as you want, but here I used like about three 
to three and a half inches um, long and then just keep wrapping that rope around it until it loops to about six times and then we're gonna go ahead and cut it. By the way guys, I'm using a different rope. This is a thicker rope than the one that it came with uh, in the bead. But uh, yeah, so you need, well I use the thicker rope but it's up to you guys whether you like the thicker rope, you like the look of the thicker rope, but for the project that I'm doing, it looks better with the thicker rope. Once you guys have the rope, you can fold it in half. After folding it in half, you're going to need another rope to tie it on the top of that tassel that you're trying to make. I suggest tying it two to three times around your tassel. Then after that, you're just going to go ahead and tie another knot just to secure that. Tie the knot like two to three times so that it could be secure. After that, just cut off the excess rope and then also cut the bottom part where the loops are, where it's looped in. After that, we're just going to go ahead and trim the bottom part so they all seem, you know, similar or they're, they're the same length. And after that, as well, you can go ahead and poke a hole in the, in the middle where you tied it off on just so that you can thread in your beads faster and this this uh what do you call this though use the one with the tape because it will be easier as well and so like i said i highly suggest using the paper tape the paper tape makes it easier for you to thread it in and so right now I'm just tying that off to secure it. I tied it about three to four times would be good. Just as, as long as you feel like it's secure enough. And once again, just cut off the excess rope. Now that is what our tassel looks like. So just cut off anything that's like, um, you know, sticking out. And yeah, that that is our ring, uh, napkin ring. And now here, I'm just trying to show you guys how to put it on the napkin ring. So that is what it's going to look like on the napkin ring. So that is it for our ring, <laughs> our um, napkin rings. <laughs> so that is it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did and if you guys did please like and subscribe for more videos like this and don't forget the notification bell so you guys can be notified for future videos okay until next time guys bye bye